<coughs> we on the road. Um, it would be nice to have a simulator. So to buy it, uh, to get it from film? Phil can borrow it from someone, but uh, the long-term solution would be nice maybe to buy it, or even a longer-term solution to make some. For that, I wanted to ask you if someone wants to give this task to one of our interns. To make one? Yeah, because um, first of all, uh, it's relatively easy for the engineer. Do you think so? Because why uh, this commercial, uh, commercially available stimulus to cost uh, six thousand or more? I don't know. Well, uh, they are capable of a lot of. Things. That's from green, yeah. From the grass. Grass. Yeah. Or even I don't Six thousand dollars. I'm not sure. You can find it less expensive. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they all are kind of expensive because they can do many things, like they can get. Uh, yeah, they have like one for like forces of different shapes and uh, yeah. different uh, frequency and all, like uh, amplitude. And so, uh, but Jonathan said that uh, this task is way less challenging than, for example, making a piece. Okay, so long term solution is to make one? Yeah, so, but uh, the more, most important thing here is that uh, this can become another product of ours, and uh, I can guarantee that you'll be always needed by someone. But why our customers would, wouldn't would need all the fancy stimulators? <coughs> well, uh, as fancy as their experiment is. I mean, if your experiment is pretty simple, you don't need a fancy one. If you need just, uh, I don't know, one pulse, you don't need to vary the voltage and the, uh, the shape. So you don't need to write, like, other parameters. Then you can use the simple one. So it depends basically on uh, your task, on your experiment. So I believe that to be on the road, you don't need money. Uh, but if you want to show, like, if you want to present uh, the ability of our system to work uh, with the electrical simulation, then you need to ask beforehand, you know, if you have one or not. Why do you say that we don't need one when we, if we go on the road? Well, I'm saying that uh, if you go there and ask the person, are you planning to work with the electrical stimulation? Okay. And uh, if the person says yes, then the second question would be like, if uh, you guys have a simulator. Yeah, but their simulator will must be uh, powerful enough. Uh, yeah, powerful enough. Um, for now, like thanks to uh, Philips setup, we know how to modify our new bus, the small one, for the electrical simulation. So, what does it mean? We know how to modify it, but we still need a more powerful stimulator. For Philips, yeah. To be on the road. Well, it's better to have like similar to what grass has, and uh, it's what 150 volts, right? Because on the road we need something. Uh, <clears throat> we need a, an experiment that we're sure that works, and it seems like the chemical stimulation is almost. It's safer. Certain is safer, right? Because if you go there, yes, with yeah, for sure, yeah. In fact, because you would have to call the guy and say, can you prepare a sample? Now, you rely on that guy's experience to prepare the sample. Exactly, yeah, you're right. So, so you. in order to show the electrical simulation, you kind of expect this guy to bring the animal and uh, have a stimulator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or at least... Or if you bring the stimulator, at least an animal which yeah. is dissected or fresh. Or, yeah. I'm just saying that uh, if we uh, combine a system, which is fully ours, uh, the stimulator eventually must be included. Because I would like to have one that says sensory from it instead of grass or something. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But you can just source that, right? You can just yeah. order it from. But, but wait, wait. Uh, you I can buy one and send it to China. <laughs> I want to be sure to understand. Chemical stimulation is safer because it's easier and less difficult to prepare. 
it's uh, because the sample is transported. You can take it with you and go somewhere. So you freeze it? Uh, yeah. Okay. You do what about and, uh, cardiac muscle? You need electrical stimulation, but with cardiac. Yeah, then you need less hormones. Then you can kind of like look at them and start to track them. <laughs> like they, they have, uh, it's like, uh, just, just by nature, they are autonomous. <laughs> and uh, you barely disturb it, and it starts with that. But they are difficult to attach or not? Cardiac cells, not more difficult than any other cells. Okay. So, so uh, chemical simulation back or... To your, back to your question. To be on the road, uh, for now we may not need uh, the stimulator at all, yeah. but uh, for our experiments at the lips, we need one. Okay. But this can be done in parallel. So, uh, what's the minimum we need to get on the road? What's the least amount of things? I have the list. Stable electronics. Microcalculators. You want me to read it? Yes. Yes. Or type it. I have 19 points here. 19? Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's what I think. Looks like you compile with a nice uh, calligraphy. <laughs> ah, no, sorry. I have three. Three items sm smaller, okay, so What's that? From the, from the screws to the wires? Do <laughs> you want to read it? No, uh, well, okay, read it. I won't type it. Yeah, so. Uh, it's good to have them somewhere in the document. We can refer it. Yeah, I didn't put it uh, yet, but uh, correct me if I'm wrong or okay. something. Yeah. So, sensor with the uh, electronic box. Okay. Yes. Uh, uh, That's the muscular my, electronics, right? Yeah, muscular electronics. Minor manipulators. Two. Okay. 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 Uh, mechanical. It's written here, we have to use that. Okay, yeah. So, platform, meaning to put everything like with the uh, micro manipulators and the button. Uh, perversion button. Okay. Do we have a question back? Are we happy with what we have? The design yeah, there. We can either use the one that we already have or uh, the one that uh, we improved uh, after experimenting. But uh, the one that we already have is it's, uh, really good. Okay, okay then uh, tubes with the physiological solution, uh, instruments for uh, dissection. Uh, cover slits. Uh, mm -hmm. You see, we don't think of these things eh, for sample preparation. Yeah, cover slits, uh, <coughs> then uh, adhesive grease, uh, anti vibration platform, if needed, maybe not. Okay. Uh, it's good okay. to have it there, yeah. Uh, then less capillaries uh, extra for uh, attaching the sample, like the hook. Yes. Then, uh, along with the extra sensor. Uh, Mirror prisms, uh, the one that you put in the bath, extra ones. Do you order this prism or not? Uh, well, uh, if, we, if they don't have to be glass prisms, then we can machine them of plastic. Sure, yes. We have a whole list of things to buy for uh, Because it's basically the kit to go on the road. Yeah. Very small stuff. Then, uh, add backup. backup. We need backup. That's why he, he adds yeah. uh, extra stuff. Uh, adapter for the microscope uh, of our potential plan, meaning that in case if we don't bring our microscope with us, just to show that uh, his microscope can fit, yes. uh, it's uh, the section microscope. You need an adapter to put uh, the station. Okay, uh, in case if you want to work with the subcellular uh, structures, we need the homogenizer, like the portative one, the cheap one, uh, even from the United States, you can buy like this big for 500 bucks. Homogenizer? Uh, to, to destroy the cell and get access to the my particles. But you want to bring that on the road or you want to bring the site sample prepared already? Uh, you cannot bring uh, you cannot bring no much name with you. Even okay, you okay, okay. Much name must be done on the spot. You can bring the sample, but the image will get bad yeah, in yeah, a few hours. Uh, then portative fridge. <coughs> portable fridge. Yeah. For everything. 
the so car, right? You back you can plug it into the car. Mm, or yeah, with the battery. Normal one or it's minus twenty one? Uh, it can be fridge freezer. It can be fridge, not necessarily fridge. Why would you buy dry ice? What is it called? Uh, dry ice you can put in the fridge. Or just a cardboard box. But then you have to buy dry ice every time you yeah, yeah, or dry ice, of course. Um okay. uh, Okay, so then clamps for cells uh, with hooks and everything, so it's a micro stuff. Uh, silicon glue for my variables in case you need. Yeah. Then holder for the sensor, uh, extra holder. Uh, the one that uh, we screw our sensor to and the one that goes on the <coughs> micro manipulator. And plastic transfer pipettes. Uh, then automatic pipetter, the one that we use to change the solutions. Like, Preferably two. You automate it. You mean it's manual, uh, but you set up the volume, yeah, right? It's, yeah, it's a uh, yeah, kind of problem. Yeah. Uh, okay, the tips for disposable tips for the pipe yeah, yeah. because uh, people may not have them. Yes. In this spot. Then uh, extra source of light in case you don't have it, just lamp like that. No. Uh, then uh, petri dishes and table for dissection. Pipe dishes you can find in China. Very simple, very what? Pipe tools. Uh, you know, the ones that you can set up the mills and just mm -hmm. press. Yeah, petri dishes <coughs> for preparation and the, the, the first thing, the sample. Uh, then, um, this list to be awesome. I want this list to go to China. Give me this list and I will buy yeah, it. I will, I will, I will, yeah, I will, I, I forgot to put it on my next mission. Okay, then uh, we need the holders for the tubes and everything because uh, it's nice to have them. Otherwise, uh, just what it be a mess. The like uh, rats, holders for tube, everything. Tube you know, like we have the red one, pony coat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. <coughs> you can put your transducers. You can. Put, yeah. Okay, here it's marked STB if uh, we need to have the lab view with us. The disk, the lab view. No, it should be EXC. We can bring a machine, right? Uh, and uh, uh, executor. Can we? Can we produce executive files? Thank you. In case if here, I don't know. Uh, I never tried here. Huh? With the version of the lab view that uh, fits our needs, in case if our client doesn't have one at all or has a updated one that does not work or mm -hmm. something. But I think uh, we, we should have a laptop. A laptop, yeah. Okay. So that just for that. Then we have all the documentation and uh, protocols of how to prepare solutions, how to dissect samples, how to use the mosquito, all the documents with us. That's a um, Okay, so then uh, I'm not sure if I need. ISO 9000. ISO 9000. The solutions you will have them prepared or you want to bring them there uh, already? Uh, we can either bring airports and yes. bring them there, like the drive. Which is probably better, or if uh, it's completely empty space, they don't have a distilled water, then we need to bring the solutions. Uh, so we need to make them fresh, or we can make them in the morning? Uh, they can be stored. Uh, if you have the fresh, you, don't, you can make them and bring them. Well, it's so one, one week? One week shelf time? One week shelf time you have? No, one month. One month? Okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So they can be like the samples stored in the freezer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <coughs> Uh, then uh, we need. Um, I'm not sure if we need to take with us or like buy one and take with us the control system, the system that connects to the bar to control the flow, because we must not expect someone having, you know, or we can always show our experiments at the room. So you need a cooler. Or you need a temperature uh, step. You need a temperature thing. Yeah. So we can uh, always. Uh, make presentations at room temperature, yes. but uh, strongly recommend to buy one, any one that can be connected to one. Is it cooler or? Okay, it's both. Cooler and heat. You want, okay, so you want to go both ways. It's a, well, for example, Philip, he always works at the temperatures that are higher than room temperature. Yes. And he can make it around it. But Dilson, if you work with my fibers, you need to cool it down. Cool it down, yeah. But if we use like a LT or something? It's a huge uh, one. Unfortunately yeah. not, because uh, it heats up the opposite. Yeah, side. no, but like we have in the Pelican case the little chiller heater full of Peltiers. Oh, well, you, we, if you make one, uh, yeah. Sure. I mean, we can't, we have to fit this all in the, this volume, right? 
Can we buy a, a, a fridge that plugs into the car and into the wall and we modify it? Yeah, those yes. are built in. Well, uh, for example, yeah, yeah, yeah. Aurora system, the one that Wilson had, it has its own uh, cooling system. It's, yeah, it's all together. So, or for example, when we work with my files, remember we have those tubes that we connect to the bat, and it's like huge uh, thing under the table that yeah. spins the uh, wire mixed with glass oil. Uh, but Aurora system, they always provide their own. So maybe eventually we should make one. But anyway, so this, uh, I put the question here, this is not my work. Then uh, we need like bring film wipes, all that the small stuff. Uh, camera for the microscope. Uh, preferable to have one in case. So you're going to have this microscope? Because it's powerful, right? Can we replace all that with just one USB microscope camera? Yeah, that's what Oh, like a mono. Uh, uh, but you might need it for dissection here, huh? Yeah. Well, it's for presentation it's because, uh, to, uh, again, we want, maybe they don't have a camera, or it's, uh, it doesn't work, or it's cheating. So uh, we need to have one that is um, uh, that works with your software, right? So I would, I would buy one that you can put instead of that piece, because all that pieces, they are roughly the same size. Okay. So well, what about we have the little mosquito dish with a USB camera on top? Well, like an inspection microscope. Well, this a model. Is in case if we bring our inspection microscope with us. No, 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 no. We have our Go kit there with the mosquito. Has a laptop, and the laptop has a USB microscope. This is the ideal. So it's like this big. It's sixty dollars. It's two hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we can have that. Or uh, I'm saying that if in case uh, our plan says I want to integrate your system into my uh, microscope. That we don't use our dissection microscope with the camera. Okay, but this, under, but, yeah, uh, so this, yeah. But I'm talking, we're talking about the roadshow here. Where we yes. show up, demo. open, demo. But for them, then once we have them hooked, they'll yeah. start. Well, then yeah, isn't it better to have like a, something that comes out in a suitcase independent of what, of what they have yes. just for the, the uh, test? Okay, then we can put a dissection microscope, the small one, and with the camera already. Because you can buy these things on wheels, okay? So you can have 100 kilograms carrying yeah, yeah. carry with you. Okay, you know, so put it there, open the boxes, and set up. You know? Hopefully, it'll be like more like 30 kilos. <laughs> 35. Yeah. Airplane. Airplane. Oh, airplanes. Yeah. You're right there. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. The big <laughs> and also, uh, okay, so camera, <clears throat> then we uh, need to get extra grip, like the uh, glass with the grip on it, in case if we need to show the calibration or something. Uh, and the uh, special tubes for number two. So all together is uh, 30 items, plus minus two, three. What's the volume? From uh, the yeah, it's not that very big. Yeah, it most of it, most of it is volume. small stuff that we need to find. Yeah, so if you have it on a spreadsheet, you can probably put very important, not necessary. Is this written in English? No. Is this written in Russian? Yeah. But the thing is, uh, sorry. You know, I'll type it up for you. <laughs> I, I will, I will, I will uh, make it. Uh, you know, I, it's uh, pretty much uh, random because, uh, you know, I was just, oh, I need this. I was writing yeah. yeah. But if, if there was something else, uh, this OCR compatible set. Yeah. yeah, so uh, these are these things that, uh, but the major ones, uh, the prices, we can order today. We'll just order the today. It's 90 bucks. Yeah. Expensive. Well, the, for now we can order. Let's order a bunch of things today. Yeah? We can order them, and then after I will make a 3D for the machine run. And we order like thousand. Of them. And uh, we'll order a thousand for China as real prisons. So it'll cost only a dollar. It's just because we're ordering five, it costs ninety dollars. Okay. And also we can get them made out of PMMA. They make prisons out of plastic. And first of all, we need a prison. We need a mirror. All we need is a mirror, not a prism, because a prism is meant for looking through it. Well, I mean, a prism, prism is the shape of the object, right? Yeah, we, we need a mirror. mirror, mirror, mirror prism. The solution, what we need provided is a mirror at 45 degrees. Yes. It can have a cylinder, or it can be a little man behind it holding it. It doesn't matter what the shape behind this mirror, because mm -hmm. we're not looking through it. Well, it kind of does, because uh, on both sides, like the way the butt was machined, yeah. Drill a hole, and then a drill two holes, uh, you know, in the wall. It would be better for circular because then you have a cylinder with a forty-five. Mm -hmm. No, no, 
not, because the walls are flat and the top uh, part of the bath is also flat. But there's no CNC that has a square bit that drills square Yeah, walls. so it's a little bit of uh, space left behind the... Yeah, so if you just round it, it would be perfect. Yeah, so that's why I want to uh, change slightly the geometry. Mm -hmm. But for now, like, again... Uh, yeah, but for this, for our bass right now, we need to be on the road tomorrow. We'll order the 2x2x2, two two two, yeah. and then we'll think about it after we have uh -huh. sales. Yeah. For sure, we, we yeah, can this we is gonna reiterate the, the lack of my knowledge because I was under the impression that they must be glass. Yeah. Otherwise, they will get rotten or something. Yeah. Uh, so the prisms and the um, if we want to have our own <laughs> five meters, uh, yeah, perfusion basically because right now we work with big. But that's cells. gravity, right? Do you want to have a uh, for the gravity? We need to make walls. Uh, it's a different story, like the perfusion system. For now, we activate just by hand like this, or uh, we can uh, suggest our client to buy the uh, pump, like the one with fuel caps, you know, that can pump one storage and automatically suck out from the nose. What about a quadruple base microfluidic scan? <laughs> <laughs> He's importing ideas from his. But I'm serious. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's perfect. It will activate and. <laughs> and relax instantly without any barrier. What we decided, like I spoke to them, and uh, so uh, sure. <laughs> but it's, it's the perfect solution. Look okay. yeah, on uh, the side. Okay, like microfluidics. Oh okay. yeah, oh definitely. So you have a source and a sink, or two sources and two sinks. Or we have to put that as an option that we can provide. Yeah. You you go with your pen very close to the cell and. You activate, deactivate like this. Because we don't interrupt, like, we can see this. You didn't see uh, yesterday the videos of. Uh... This is fucking amazing. Excuse my YouTube uh, language here. Yeah. <laughs> no, but uh, so for now, uh, basically, we bring it and uh, show it manually. Yeah. But, uh, and I, yeah. I, I, I say that, like, came out of the club. Blah, blah. Like, I do it manually right now. But in case if you guys want to control the timing for something, you are more than welcome to attach whatever pump you have to our map. So, mm -hmm. but, you have the uh, ins and outs. But the simplest would be to use the metal. So for that we need to, like, I will make this list and put uh, the most important ones that uh, we must have on the road. Mm -hmm. okay, so we had the, the fluid pen, the gradient between relaxation and activation solution, and it's been moved like this. Exactly, That's so this is what they had before. They had a, a double barrel pipette, yeah. Which was microfluidic size, plunged near the near the sample. This is our. Uh, uh, this is easy. So you yeah. have a double barrel puppet. So the flow that comes from here to here, they flow laminary. So the the, the intersection is like a one very thin line of transition, right? Then you move the pipe, boom. And 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 the the sample finds itself in one stream or the other stream. Okay. And you're switching like your switching speed is the speed of of your thing. Yes. That's the switching speed. And there is no turbulence. Wow. Not a little bit of turbulence. It's just, you know, eventually your bath uh, will be filled with both solutions. But then you need a sink, yeah. You need a yeah. sink to so always flow it out. Otherwise, you can see it provided by Mohammed. Showed us on videos and everything. Well, it's. Uh, so, so here, in order to create the continuous flow, you need to have the pump working on. Yeah. And. Uh, your flow must be kind of same, like you add as much solution as you pump out. Ten times more pumping out than yep. the system. But it never worked, uh, I mean, you can never adjust it that precise. Yeah, he has a $10,000 pump controlling his solution. Yeah, he does. I, I know because I integrate them. They're, it's Nemesis pumps. The very nice. Nice thing. Micro precision. Uh, yeah. Nano precision. Uh, he, he was uh, talking about uh, a flow of a uh, few nano. Yeah, but I'm saying because me, I look at them as the, I look at them as linear stages, right? To the pistons, they're linear stages, and you can move the stage with micro precision. It's a positive displacement pump. Huh? It's a positive displacement pump. It's a diagram. No, no, this one that they have, it's yeah. they put a syringe inside a. Okay. Yeah. A linear, yeah. So a linear stage. It's yeah. a piston. It's yeah. like. It's really sweet. In fact, pumping the solution in either manually or with a pump, uh, I guess this will be the only solution for 
the space engine can do that. Because uh, in space there is no gravity, so the solution will not, there will be no flow, right? So we won't be able to use automatic valves. So it's done that it's way activate or disactivate. Oh, you know, that's a problem, because your batch should be confined. Exactly, yeah. So, uh, Both ways. Uh, uh, and your mosquito needs to go inside the... No, this is completely screwed. <laughs> No, but we, we imagine we, we, we fix the sample from there on the transducer, and then we just uh, work all frozen, and we go there and just start the experiment, but all is sealed. Unless you have a, a mosquito going through a glass plate that can slide around. Because it's not like there's a, a negative pressure where they're working. Well, I was thinking, of, I was thinking <laughs> of fixing the mosquito that mm -hmm. can kind of slide around. It won't go in your face like dirt. Let's do it in the back end. That'd be kind of cool. I was thinking of a different setup because uh, we may, like to make it simpler uh, for the astronaut, you know, to do whatever, perform whatever task, mm -hmm. the mosquito must be fixed in place as in our own system. So we don't manipulate with the mosquito. Yeah, there. yeah. Then you have maybe just one manipulator to bring it, like glue to the cell. And Why do we use our system versus our own? Oh, I'm looking for new technologies. Anyway, but uh, to be on the road, uh, I will link the list. But right now, the, the most uh, important one is to get the prism, because uh, otherwise we won't be able to see our sample from the side. So let me propose something. So what if we buy these things, like, you know, pretty, like, within days, and then we set up a system here? Yeah, we can do it. So we can start making some experiments here, right here. No, there. There. <laughs> huh? Yeah? Can you do like an activation here? Yeah? Well, we need a fire return. We have the 110 volts from the wall. We need to buy solutions because solutions yeah, are well, available. We can borrow from Phil because he has fire return and the solutions. So I propose you put it right here. That's it. Near yeah, the uh, kitchen, right? Yeah, we'll put this out of there and put it right here. Next to the couch. Hey, what if we have a demo mosquito with everything needed in our lab? Well, we're supposed to. No. Oh. Isn't that the whole point? Yes. That's what we sell. And have to things in the fridge, you know? Yeah. Well, okay. Okay. No, we I, I forgot. The important thing is to have manipulators. Because uh, by the time when we make our own, maybe uh, improve them, make them smaller, nicer. These are expensive. Uh, so $6,000 for two, huh? No, three. $3,000 for two. 3000 for two? They, they, they emailed me uh, again yesterday. Asking for what? Daniel, you don't want to make uh, some expenses? He said that he can massage the price for us. But, yeah, two dollars. Okay. Get up at 5%. Mm -hmm. You know, the cookies he gave it fell out of the I mean, uh, after, after we make our own, once, yeah. uh, the, the scientific, uh, we can sell it to someone else. <coughs> but because I wanted to try to, uh, to be on the road, we cannot borrow them from people every time. No, no, no. Yeah. So do we buy these or uh, because I, I, I this is that I said if we have to. What's buy. the lead time on them? Huh? What's the lead time? One week? Mm, should, should ask. I will ask. One yeah, or two weeks. Okay. Okay, I will email them. Yeah. Okay. Because maybe the order in China for three weeks and then we buy it. And I asked them, I asked them in black. It's running up? No, don't make it. Okay, guys, we move forward? Because the meeting is getting uh, too long. Yeah, but it's good. So, uh, the summary is the prisms and the sample that we have to make. Okay. You want me to buy? You buy now. Okay, after the meeting we'll buy a few things. So I'll, I'll uh, order a few things and even the pieces. Okay, what's the next uh, last one? Uh, transducer characterization and optimization. TV is making these processes more standard and centralized. Okay. So the idea here is that, um, you know, I was making characterization and optimization of these things. 
and out of that work emerged a sort of a, a more structured way of doing it, right? So you mean transducer for the mosquito? Uh, so I, I created a document with different categories. The simple type, joint type, which can be ball, mirror, whatever, you know, it's just a simple joint type, requires the same instrumentation, the same techniques. Then you have the multifiber one that requires a different technique, right? Okay. And a different instrumentation. Mm -hmm. So you sort of have like two categories. And then you also have the grooved one, okay, which works almost like the joint type, but I didn't include it in the in the document. Okay. But because I because I did it many times, now I can see a nice way to lay down the document so that students can, you know, these interns can can uh, can have that guide, you know, mm -hmm. and other future people that will come. Yeah, okay, I still need to add some more pictures, but that's the idea: is to have one stop shop for characterization and that. And I also created spreadsheets, so you, and these spreadsheets I, I created them. I put something on it, but, but you know, I still have to make the formulas and make all the calculations. Yeah. But I thought I'm going to do that with the interns in uh, in context. Did I put that on Okay. Um, okay. So we have this doc, these processes, and we can refer spreadsheets for uh, capturing the data and analysis. And we have the the document that explains the procedure, how to do it, gives you pictures. What are the materials that you need to use? What is the protocol that you need to use, right? And then you have the spreadsheets. You make a copy of a template, put the data in, the graphics are just going to pop up. All the calculations will be done, right? And the spreadsheet so streamlining is, uh, this process. is a, the accessible where? I don't think I linked it here, but it's linked on the, on the internet page. It's, I still have uh, you know, to uh, integrate this, all these things. There's still more work to do. This is public on the web. Huh? This is public on the web. Wait, wait. Do you want to restrain the sensorica? It's because they don't have access to everything. I invited them, and I made it public. Ça parle pas. Ça, ça parle pas de comment c'est fait. Ça parle de comment c'est testé et caractérisé. Oh, ouais, c'est vrai. Ok. Euh, New transducers. Simple joint type. There are different designs to fabricate and test according to their optomechanical structure. So what I mean by that is the goal thing is the you know put a semi-transparent mirror on one. You know so. Eliminate the fabric pero, put the fabric pero in, uh, cut the fiber in the angle, all these, all these little things. In the end, you're gonna have a transducer that you're gonna characterize and test. Yes. Right. So we have a ball here that you made. Lens yes. joint. Yeah. Okay. So, and then maybe we need more. Oh yes, we need more. So we have all these things, you know. This is the mirror, can be also curved. This is the directional. This we never try. Uh, yes, it's this one. No, that's on the lever. So oh, you need to mirror it. Oh, the lever. Yeah. yeah. So you need to make a mirror. Oh, that worked. Huh? Was it now? Well, the mirror fits the light, it'll just be converging all the time and it'll never change? It's the same size. Should be the same behavior. Oh, but for poking them. No, because the other one is focusing and this one is uh, diverging. Oh, yes. But for poking, it's very sensitive. Yeah. Because it is diverging. So the, f the further away you are, the less light will go in. How right? do you create a poking sensor? And if you go very, very close, you know, your power will be sensitive. It sounds like it's a piercing sensor. How is it not going to pierce the surface? Yeah, so make this flexible and have the lever just uh, have the lever just like a something like a ball. Make a big lens in there. Okay. So what do we do with this? And click click on the other one. This one. Yeah. <clears throat> now you are on the delivery side. This is what you have. Yes. And we were trying to make this one. 
eliminate the Fabry Perot. These are two yes. strategies. So we have this one that eliminates the Fabry Perot and this one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I still have enough space that this circuit. So that's why, you know, once you have the streamlined uh, process of, for characterization or optimization, you know, you just fabricate them and give them to the students. Because when they learn how to do one, you know, they will use the same techniques to make all, all, all of them, right? Yes. You see what I'm saying? It's a joint type, right? So they just put it there and then they press and... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this... Can you move it or you leave it there? Discuss it? I move it or... No, I can discuss it right now. Okay. okay. Uh, we have the prices. They have some uh, regular LED shaped ones for $10 to 25 So we can order one or two of those. From Europe, yeah? They're from Austria, yeah. Okay. And I checked their whole price list, and they have some ball lenses, too. They have an uh, 850 nanometer photo that with T built in. Okay. So I don't know if we want to try. Uh, yeah, yeah. That goes in conjunction with the 850 nanometer mosquito. So for once, we'll finally have the thing I've been looking for for years. Mm -hmm. It's seventy nine dollars for a photo that with integrated TF. But it's seven eighty or no, it's a uh, eight fifty. Well, it peaks around eight fifty, but it has from okay. whatever seven hundred to eleven hundred. But only the eight fifty has a TA. Well, it was the one they have. Yeah, they only have three models, and it's the same photo that with different resistors and the feedback loop, the different gain. So you want laser and TF, right? No, no, it's a uh, PD and TF in one. But you want a laser LED. to Yeah. Then we can use a laser and an LED because A fifty A LEDs I have some even are common. Oh, okay. And I believe not a, yeah. okay, yeah. So So from them they're fairly cheap, I guess. They have some A fifties on F C connectors. Just there. And they also have fiber couple ones. F C Yeah, they're not What's FST? It looks like ST, but it's a screw. ST? No, it looks like an ST, but it has a, I think it has a threaded part. Yeah, yeah. It's not a push to connect, I believe. But we, this is in stock ready right to order right now. Right now, FST is a stock or something like that. FC. Yeah, but FC, then you need, uh, you need F ST. But they gave us some. You can buy a STFT. Uh, they gave us uh, some FT, didn't they? The free stuff? So um, we order 850? I don't know. That's the thing. That's what I was up for discussion. Do we want to order? Uh, for sure, we order LED 1515. How many do we order? They're $25 each. At least three. So we order three of those. There's no MOQ. Do we order some of the traditional LED shaped ones and have a divergence of 20 degrees? It looks just like a normal epoxy LED. So that would be for the PMA the same, maybe? The same situation. Except this half the price. The same company? Same same, same everything. Okay, so the same yeah, order. let's order three and four, whatever. Three and three? So three fifteen fifty. And three fifteen fifty, like three fifteen fifty can and three fifteen fifty epoxy. Or lead. And you can thread with the fully You know, you can always use it. You can use it for calibrating stuff. You can use it for, yeah. you know. And one eight fifty. Three eight fifty TIA. Uh, I don't know. That's up to you guys. What do you think? Do we try it out? What? Because if we have TIA, I would buy at least two because two TIAs. I, I, I mean, if you buy, I'd buy at least two because one you can wear right away. You know? Yes. Okay. So order two eight fifty TIA. Three times. Three times. Yeah. So break it down. Do we? What? Well, now what's the gain? I guess I'll uh, end matching lasers. The order from them the matching lasers? Or we're looking somewhere else? Do I tell him to me? Yeah, so these lasers are, are very common. I can, yeah. yeah, I can even, if I do the order from the fiber, they might have it. Uh, 
No? They're not that expensive, these guys. So what we're going to do, we're going to spend 30 minutes, no more, and go over the prices together quickly. So, okay, so let's, if they have some, let's, let's order from them. Is it that? You want the LED or you want no. the, the laser? I could some... See, plus that's... matching laser. But, so, what about our LED? Matching LED. I think we can still guide something at that weather, no? I'm lost yet. Our, our delivery fiber matches. We, we confirmed this previously. We have a 3 dB loss on 10 kilometers. Okay. Yeah. Matching PD, you mean? Uh, the, the PD, the TIA is a, it's a oh, yeah, PD yeah. TIA and yes. matching LD. And that would be nice because it's going to be an encapsulated Austrian made product, basically the mosquito itself, and it's a voltage add proportional to the light input. So we can use that. Wherever. Is it encapsulated like PDLD? No, no, it, this thing here is the electronics I'm making. Okay, so the gain, the gain is there, yeah. So we can compare it to my circuit to this thing, which yeah, would be considered an ideal. And it is a TI chip inside. They just bought the die and integrated it inside the natural So there's no noise, right? There's no noise from uh, Well, that's what I'm hoping. I want to see where, now we'll know if this noise is from the cracked yeah, fiber, yeah, from yeah, the cracked yeah, grill. For sure, this bite. Because I don't really, I, I like to hope my circuit is a reason there's a problem and that it can be improved. Okay, great. Multi fiber. This is there. Yeah, nice. And this, <laughs> this stimulator can be done with an H bridge. Yeah, it's portable. With a massive screen. Nice. Okay. Yeah. We'll just say that. Thirty percent rebate. I will see. Yeah. That are rebased. Five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars. Six hundred dollars. Uh, rebate will be uh, tax free. Six hundred dollars. One third. Thirty percent. So it's twelve hundred bucks yeah. in July. In July. Okay. Uh, multi fiber joint pipe. Zoo project. Is it this? Multi fiber joint pipe. Yes. Yeah. Setup is ready for characterization and optimization. Interns will take care of that. Of course, you have to be there because they can't. Sir. But they can't. You you must be there to yeah, yeah, yeah. help. Yeah. They come tomorrow, right? Yeah. Do we want Kevin to come? He has physio before. Is blah blah blah. So he says he's available to come at three thirty if we want him to come. I'm gonna be here until eight. You're gonna be here till eight. Yeah. So I'll tell him to come three thirty to eight. And Bob's coming here. Okay, yeah. so, and for Sedek? starts at 5. At St. Hubert. At St. Uh, Plaza. Yeah. The same place we were last time? At yes. Yeah, yeah. But the map, uh, it looks very good for Good. So uh, I'm going to uh, tell Kevin right away. Oh, sorry. OK. Um, so. So if you don't want to basically what you can do is this. What's that? Okay, so Groove transducer robot in the project. We are now making homemade couplers. To yeah, here. Here's the circuit. I made the circuit here. So now I'm not using this anymore. No laser used anymore. Why you don't use this anymore? Huh? Why? Because it's not optimal. You lose too much time? There's too much uh, speckling and dirty? There is uh, also, well, I think I think they function the same. And this is more compact. You know, I can make my own circuit uh, on the table like that. Small fibers. I don't have that. These long wires. I can cut this fiber very small, you know. And uh, it makes it more compact. And here I only have, you see, I have one in, one in two and one in two. So I have three, one in two that I need. And here I have one in two and two in two. Mm. Okay, so they don't match. You see what I'm saying? They're good. They're good for other applications, but here to make my own circuit, I can make. A but also remember, we're ordering it again from FIS, but you don't need to order from them. We're making an order today from them. Yeah, I know. Do you I know. Want to I know. Order another one and two. Fifty bucks. Why? Why would I order? And, I can make and this five. works. This is yeah, good. Yeah, okay. What do we order at FIS? Uh, the, 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 point five. Point five. Point three. You know, uh, I can put these things on the board and just put them in the box. Mm. So it, be it becomes just, just a box, you know, as fiber sticking out. Nobody will see what's inside. No, no, it doesn't matter. No, nobody's going to. 
But so really this works. is for a robot finger. Yeah. So now I have a perfect mirror attached to this thing here. So this is what uh, a reference, this one? This, uh, this is a reference going to be here. Fiber. And here you will have the yeah. proved one. Where is the proved one? Uh, this is the proved one. Oh, OK, OK. And the reference is going to be here. All right, good. Where? Um, it's going to be here, too. Where is the second output? Uh, huh? Where is the one and two and two? And I, then, then I have reference coming out of here okay. and signal coming out of here. Uh, and there is something else. I can replace this guy by a cube, yeah, which I think you should. Which the light that comes out of here, and I have the cube. The light that comes out of here, it only comes from the mirror. It doesn't come from anywhere else. We have to set up the cube for the mosquito, and uh, have some made. The cube is 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 you know when you insert the cube into something, you have to come out of the fiber, use two lenses. You know. It's a beam splitter. Huh? It's a beam split here, this cube? It's a polarization yeah. maintaining yeah. beam It's a polarization beam splitter, but it works, uh, you know, it works in this part. This guy's at the Roche uh, Austrian Laser Company. They have multi-mode lasers, but I think they're real multi-mode lasers, because they're $2,000. Okay. And they give you all the modes at once, so I don't know. Yeah? No idea. Yeah. Yeah. They also have polariz polarization maintaining stuff. We interested in any of this So it's... Uh, you know, you don't have to use polarization maintaining fiber if you're very close to the transducer. Okay. So that was a question I had with Francois earlier, I think. What if we made everything just like millimeters instead of centimeters? So the PD, LD, transducer are all the light path is millimeters. Everything's right next to each other at the transducer. Will that yeah. help us at all, yeah. or yeah. hurt us? And you have wires out to communicate? Uh, yeah, like we're going to have the TF here. So, we're gonna have, so we have a laser coming in by fiber, and then the electrical wires coming out with the data. You know, then you can make a, a free space photonic chip, OK? And you have all the advantages of light propagating in free space, which is maintains polarization, and everything, you know, it's nice and clean. So that we can do an engage grant for. Uh, but it's you know it's it's one chip that that if something breaks you have to throw away. You know what I'm saying. But <laughs> if we make it in a MEMS foundry, then it should cost dollars per chip. Mm -hmm. Like if we can eliminate everything and just say fifty bucks and per chip, free space optics. Not this year. What? Not this year. That's good to to know. You know, I wonder this if you might. can use the PMMA and PMMA optics. You know, I mean. So lenses in PMMA, they make pretty good lenses, plastic lenses now. now. It's amazing how. But is this something we can have made at Sherbrooke at the microfabrication? I don't know how you make these things. Is it made by etching or something like that. I don't know how they make, but you can. <clears throat> so you have uh, it's like a, the PDLD stuff, but even smaller. Yeah, we have a transducer connected to wires. But there's all the optics is internal to the transducer. Well, you only have the fiber that you put in, you know, with the small connector. Mm. But everything is close by and free space. And is, in this way, you maintain the multi mode? And the laser, the laser is here. You know, you just bring it to the fiber. You don't care what, what the problem with polarization maintaining is that, you know, you bring the laser here with the fiber, it can be two kilometers long, and at the end, you put a polarizer. So now you, you're purifying right. your laser. And then you put it in your free space, whatever, men's device. And now you can play, it's like you're having a laser close by, right? <clears throat> and then whatever light comes out, either you have the, the detector there, or you can also put it into a fiber. Once it's processed, you put it into a fiber. It doesn't matter how it changes the polarization because it only goes to a detector. Mm -hmm. So you only measure intensity. But the idea is how do you couple and uncouple signals that come from this or you know the reference and this, that, you know? Anyways. Because if I put a cube here, if I put a cube inside here, mm -hmm. so the, re the, the, the signal only contains stuff that comes from here. What happens? The cube splits one polarization, comes here in the mirror, the mirror shifts it, goes back to the cube, and then it's... The problem is that this fiber here, okay? Breaks, breaks uh, multi-mode. It uh, scrambles the polarization. Not multiple polarization. So instead of having a, a flip here, and you arrive exactly at your... Your polarization is going to be scrambled. So you have only a one percentage that is going there. And the rest is going back. 
The medium, yeah. it's not like vacuum. Yeah. Vacuum yeah. preserves yeah. polarization. The medium yeah. scrambles yeah. the polarization. So, uh, if you have uh, helical sorry. molecular structure, if you have helical molecular structure, polymers, okay, it will rotate the polarization. A medium rotates polarization. You see what I'm saying? So your beam, will de your 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 cube will define the polarization after him. The mm -hmm. the problem is that by the time you reach the mirror, that polarization is scrambled, and by the time you go back. It doesn't match anymore, so the cube loses its. Could we use single mode in this huh? case if we're in a free space? Single mode, minus? yeah, it's well. You have polarization maintaining cycles, yeah. You have that. Uh, why do we need polarization? Huh? Why do we need to maintain? But the multi mode, uh, in multi mode, doesn't really work. So you have single mode polarization maintaining fiber. Okay. But, but why do we care? Why would because we want you want to multi mode uh, or uh, polarization? polarization. Why, why you want polarization? Oh, because we use the cube. Okay. Because the cube, the, he showed me this, like I saw it. The light comes this way. So it goes back, hits the mirror. Yeah, when it go when it hits the mirror and goes back to that cube because of the polarization, nothing disturbs the laser anymore. It goes only the reflected signal from the mosquito is coming to the photodiode. Nothing else. So you can direct light and mix light together so okay, using perfect, polarization. Uh, why it's like why it's exactly the real the thing what we thought were white. It's like a circulator. The circulator is supposed to work like that, right? But it's 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 not free space. It's all in fiber. It's all in line. The circulator is supposed to work like that. You have one port in, one port out, and in, and then it, it goes this way, right? But again, the problem is that the medium can scramble polarization. Polarization is the So basically, you need a circulator, uh, and you can make a circulator with, with, yeah. with a PBS. So in this way, you the preserve circulator? your laser from any backlight. No. And not only that, you know yeah. for sure that the light that goes to the detector comes only from this. And, and it's not contaminated by other. Yeah. Because look, if I take this out completely, the mirror, take the mirror out, right? Boom. Now, all the light is supposed to come out, right? Yes. If I shine the light here, I can see light coming out of here, which doesn't come from here, it comes from here. There is always some reflection from the laser. So you have a back, uh, you yeah, have a yeah. background, mm -hmm. you know, that comes from the laser, plus your signal. Okay? You see what I'm saying? Yes. So if you have a background of, uh, I don't know, one volt, your signal is uh, plus minus uh, a few millivolts. You know you have to live with that background, right? So when you, when you amplify everything, you amplify the background, you amplify the signal. You know you're always on top of something, you know. And that's why you use a reference to cancel it out. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so but it's nice to have a pure. for a dirty setups. Yeah. And you saw this tube? I saw. It. You showed it to me. It's here. Remember yesterday, one of the things here. It's because you had this to show off. Oh, no. It's, it's pretty interesting. It's here somewhere. Uh, I didn't want to pay attention because it's like, it's like kids. Yeah. If you know it, you find out. Yeah. <laughs> it's here, man. Anyway, I can show you after I have two cubes. Good. Where did the I cubes show off? That's what we got from the laser printer. Yeah, from a laser printer. So we should put a call to action on the QGG say, please give us your old laser printers. The older, the better. We want the optics. But okay, so you know we can. These are the keys. Do we want to order any ball oh, lenses this from? Uh, they're nine dollars for a two millimeter ball lens. What I don't know about the ball lenses is uh, what exactly do we need? Uh, how um, the parameters? What is the focal length and? Uh, the focal length is given. It's an eight millimeter focal length. Because we can buy for this fiber and for the six. But it doesn't give you an eight. You, that's just dependent on the distance. Exactly. So they give you the focal length and they give you the diameter. Yeah. So and it's that's half the you, you max the rest. Oh. So we can we can buy one ball lens for nine dollars on our order, and we can use that for taking our LEDs and putting them into fibers. Yeah, you can use them for the LEDs and you can use them for the PBS cube because you need fiber. Okay. So we can play with some ball lenses. They're only ten dollars. Yeah. I'm sure they're cheaper from China, but I'd like as this is going to be shipped from Austria tomorrow. Okay. That's good. Well, it's they're nice because they are self aligning. You know, you just need a tube. Yeah, he has some. Uh, you just need concentric tubes. He he offers mm -hmm. grin lenses too. Yeah. Grin yeah. lens is a uh, like a ball lens, but it's flat. That means you can butt couple it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which I learned about yesterday today, and yeah. this is amazing. So uh, that's why I want to spend half an hour with you going through their data sheet and their yeah. price list because the prices seem reasonable to me. And we can do lots of cool stuff because we have to do R&D optics.
Yes. Gradients are, are, are necessary if you want to couple large core fiber, small core fiber. So okay. let's say we use this mosquito. We, saw, uh, we use this mosquito without the delivery fiber, so and we take the 300. So if we order a green line, micros, sorry, yeah, 300 from Maxim. Yeah, so if we order a green line to deal with Maxim, that would help. That's what it takes to couple Maxim's fiber into our mosquito without changing other things. First line. That's so, exactly what it takes. So we should order it. You take Maxim's fiber, you take our fiber, so you match the different oh. cores. You take yes. yes. You take what? You match you, the different cores. cores. Yeah. Because yeah. connector to connector, you need to match cores, right? Mm -hmm. But if you have different cores, you need the green lines right. to expand or to diminish. Okay. okay. Focus. And they, 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 they work in both ways. So yeah. they have so green lines? Yeah. yeah. How do For you laser coloring optics, they come in a tube with so threaded rods, and you can move them in and out. A threaded. It's basically like the laser tubes that we have, you know, like the, the brass lasers we have in the stream. Take one of these. Yes. And it's all standard, and they can just screw in and unscrew. For one millimeter, three millimeter fibers? No, no, no. Uh, it's for, for like laser diode, five, fifty-six, and ninety millimeter, or nine millimeters. And Sometimes I want to buy and play with lenses, but we need to know what fibers do we need to couple, you know? So let's do it. For, let's buy some theory made, you know, so we can use uh, and, one source. And corning and fiddy core. Because what we, what we would like to have is one mosquito with one particular delivery fiber, so that doesn't change. Mm -hmm. And then if you want a couple, you know, uh, 250 PMA, you put one green lens. If you want a couple one millimeter PMA, you put another green lens, right? Yeah. So it's just that green lens, which is an intermediary. Yeah. It's like a sleeve in between two different cores, right? Mm. Okay, but the source and your pigtail stays the same with the ST connector. And you have ST, ST, the green lens in the middle with some connector. And if you want to change... This diameter, you change the, 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 the green lens, put another one, you see what I'm saying? So yes. it becomes modular. That was, the, that was the idea of the green lens. And what's nice about it, like you said, is that your connectors, you just have to align center to center, right? But your connectors, they just go into the green lens, boom, boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there is no adjustment, you know, uh -huh. yeah. like the lens, you see what I'm saying? You just put boom, boom, and that's it. If they're designed for each other, the green lens. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But the ball lens it, it's more adjustable. We have it on this stage here. We kind of just like adjust. Okay, it. if you want to adjust, yeah, yeah, okay. good. Uh, back to these cubes. Mm -hmm. uh, these cubes, these uh, polarization, polar, polarized light, which is any laser is polarized. We polarize the laser by putting. It but any laser should be polarized. They should be polarized. By definition, they come out polarized yeah. because of the 50% mirror at the end of the laser cavity? It's because the laser cavity and the... Yeah, because it's like a, a fabric pro action, and this is a 50% mirror, so the light comes out eventually. Yeah, but the, the polarization, so that's in phase, but the polarization is maintained okay. by, by, yeah, by mirrors. And the polarization, to be clear, is the photon spin? It's uh, an orientation around an axis. Okay. It's, oh, are we talking? It's, it's how your field photon as a wave or as a yeah. So you imagine a photon. It's it's an electromagnetic field. Yes. And the electromagnetic okay, so field, uh, yeah. you know, it's it's on the in, in the, the plane. Because yes. I know that for electronics, because it's the B axis and the E axis. So let's say if you put if your light is polarized this way and you put an electron in the front of the light, the electron is going to be accelerated and decelerated this way. Okay. Okay. And if you change the polarization, it's going to go this way. It's okay. Cool. Spin is the same. Yeah, it's the equivalent of uh, this being yeah. nice. Yeah. On a side note, if you have a uh, antenna in your like your trucker CB antenna, you put your antenna like this, your waist come out like that. Yeah, yeah. And the other guy puts his antenna like that, the waist come out like that, and they have a hard time talking to each other. Yeah, yeah. So some companies put all their antennas on the side so they don't interfere with the other guys, and they can talk okay, to each other okay. easily. Then you go and hear both guys. You put it at forty-five, and you get both. <laughs> Okay, so so that's anyway that that's that's what it is for the uh, optical assembly. So okay, that's what we're going to do some stuff. Okay, good. Next, would be good to have a postdoc or meet tax in the fix. Someone you can yeah. Uh, Someone we can do these meetings and say you do this now, and okay, we get yeah. to do other work. Stop us. Wait, because you can't spend the. No, no, it's just it's just it's just. If we have a guy full time, three six months. Then he needs well, an optics table, so and he needs a file less stuff. I think you should have a good amount of stuff. Me, that's uh, expensive, but they are good. 
I check some videos for Emacs, uh, Zmax, and it looks like Chinese. But the the new version is easy to use. Yeah. The one we have is ten times harder. So uh -huh. the videos you saw are for the easy to use version. Uh -huh. The ours is like DOS or punch cards. Uh -huh. And make a little holes paper, load them up. The you really have to, to understand the, 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 all the symbols and all the. Yeah, it's not intuitive. I look at it and go, oh. It's like what, text based? based? It, it's like a holdover from uh, patch cables. <laughs> uh, so. Uh, RFI status. Did, did you work on it during this weekend? The RFI? RFI for, for space, space station ISS. ISS. Yes, in Russian and English. Yeah. What? So, did you start writing, or it's still a draft? Well, it's a draft. Well, uh, I started to write today. Okay. I'll check that. Um, because deadline is March 7, but it's good to have a very good work. Yeah. And uh, so I resent all the information to Phil, because he said he didn't have, but I actually I checked. I sent it. And he's he said you will check this. Okay. This is the RFI? Yes. Okay. So when do you do you want to bring Maxim in or do you want I think it's a it's a it's a good motivator for Maxim. Right. <coughs> right. It's a lot of At one point do you want to uh, you want Phil to define a project? And uh, then after Maxim can do that. A lot, I think. Yeah. But, uh, okay. and theme is... I'm also behind, I didn't read that document. So I uh, I know uh, you guys you have a document uh, it's, it's mostly about biology. Maybe it's good to, to have Maxim just as a reference. There is nothing for him to uh, work on? That's a nice asset to have, you know what I'm saying? And this is probably a motivator for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's only, uh, it, not, it has two potentials bring money and prestige. Well, for that, you have to be. Uh, more yeah, that's what we got. Are we ordering 0.25 as well? Millimeter? Here? Yeah, are we doing 0.25 and 0.5? Yeah, you know me, yeah. Can we just heat up and pull some of our one millimeter? It breaks. Uh, no, but can we do like a bigger on tower and stretch it out? Also, I has a tear in his eye from that idea. <laughs> Uh, so the A50 is, is Merck's? Has anyone checked Merck's today? Yes. I receive an e every day. Um, Summary? Summary. Good. Do you need help? Mm. Reading through them? What's Merck's? It's the governmental database where you, you have these kind of specialty RFIs. And, okay. Uh, or that the government buys. Is published on Merx, so it's good to. But I have an automatic uh, summary every day. Of okay. everything, or just stuff related to us? Uh, I put it very broad, so uh, today it was uh, optic fibers, but uh, communication. Oh, okay. Uh, we can do that. Something else, like uh, pharma, pharma, uh, oh, they, they want to simulate uh, movement in uh, it is software. Okay. Yeah. Good. Uh, try to make wavelength. That's pertinent to the TA, PDTA thing. Yes. So that's good. Uh, the electronics are here. I want to solder up today, ideally. It'd be nice. Okay. <clears throat> so today. So is that with the feedback integrated or? No. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so for the electronics, feedback. Okay, so what I'm doing for the new Mosquito. Okay. Jane's the only person available <laughs> who knows this so far. Uh, there's no more gain adjust on the the TIA. Okay. Because this precision yeah, yeah, yeah. is a source of noise. It's a big antenna, basically. Okay. So I'm going to fix the gain based on the data sheet. So we'll know what's the maximum, the saturation current of the uh, mm -hmm. photodiode, you know, the laser power. So I'll just set it for that. So. The maximum light in is the max is a like laser butt couple directly, and that's what the gains are set. So the max okay. output yeah, is just that. Mm -hmm. And that way, so when you have a perfect mirror, it will uh, it's going to be saturated, be saturated. and everything else will be below that. Yeah. yeah. And then we just hook that up directly to the ABC. On that circuit, I also have the Penguin chip, 
the program digitally programmable gain okay. and filter. Okay. Unfortunately, the maximum filter I also use in the other mosquitoes is not compatible with my four volts. I need four point five volts. So I forgot. Let's check that. So I was gonna have that. So we either tap out after the, the TIA or after the same chip as the thing. Okay. Now hopefully we start today. But but there is no feedback, huh? What does that mean? Uh, have the have the uh, photo died, uh, like a reference and write other than write it. There's this is just a this circuit is only the photo diode circuit. Okay. There's no laser. Okay. Ah, okay, okay. The laser is something else. I'm going to do that. Uh, okay, I okay, just okay. wanted to get it over with, get this done, and to cut on and try to add more features and never going to be done. So, so there is there's one photo diode only, huh? There's two photo diode circuits here. Two photo diode circuits yeah. on the same board? Yeah. Oh, one because okay. I'm comparing two op amps. I want to see which one's better. The one we have now and this new one. That's so then, can you use them both and have a divider in between and have that? Uh, well, we can do whatever we want. Yeah. yeah. And I can also etch more boards and just make more. Not a problem. Okay, because if you if you already have this uh, architecture with two, then but one of them could be used. What I'm doing is a comparison of two TIA op amps. One is a three femto amp input, meant for ion chambers. <laughs> It's like extremely accurate, uh, okay. really low input op amp, and the other one is the standard mosquito one. Okay. Do we need to order more uh, uh, photo diodes? Yes. Because ultimately, maybe we need to have a, if, a sample from the laser. I'm know? now in photovoltaic mode. This circuit design is now for photovoltaic. No more reverse bias, because there's more noise in reverse bias than the other one. So we can order, like the TIA that we are ordering at 850 mm -hmm. is designed for photovoltaic mode, okay. not photoconductive. So if we can order some photo diodes at 1550 that are designed for photovoltaic mode, mm -hmm. maybe that would be a better output. I don't know. And where we order these photo diodes? They have some on the <coughs> Austrian laser guys. I'm not sure what the price is, I didn't remember. And also the way to remember is the Chinese stuff was the lowest bidder. Okay. Maybe we want to go with the uh, Japanese, Japanese quality, the Hamatsu photo and laser, mm -hmm. or somewhere in between. Okay. So remember, we have these two architectures. Either we use directly a photo diode that is inside the laser can as yeah. a feedback. Yeah, absolutely. Or we have a fiber that is sticking out somewhere, and use a second photo diode. Mm -hmm. right. And usually, this is what. Everybody else does. People use, you know, like we used to see the tooth thing, you know, the yeah. uh, the constricted thing. They have a fiber that goes right next to it. Yeah. So a similar length. And they use two photo diodes, two separate photo diodes. Okay. So you can also use the laser one to stabilize it, but but then you have a div division between two photo diodes. One is reference mm -hmm. and travels through the same medium, uh, to the same environment, up yeah. up to the to the transducer. Okay. It's like the finger that I'm doing here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? The so this, ideally, uh, you should uh, drop it in the, in the, in the path. Yeah, you know, uh, this is something to be on the road, you know? The transistor must be... Yeah, close to the... Absolutely, like... If you want to be perfect. Yeah, yeah. If you drop it, you pick it, put it back, and... Uh, no, so but that's, that's the software yeah. side. Oh, the electronics can yeah. go like this. As long as TV is wonderful lab view, cleans it up, and makes it look beautiful. <laughs> That's the purpose. In the real world, everything looks like shit, and software makes everything look beautiful. It's like scientists, but continues. Massaging the dad looks like it's supposed to look. Uh, how about the delivery fender problem? There should be no movement to the delivery. Uh, it should be cast in the box. fiber is not damaged, actually. We, we tested it with uh, Enrique. And it's you moved it, and then like happened? Well, with the foam, uh, it's it's the transducer. The whole thing that moves oh, that the that the ferro is enough, yeah. maybe. But the electronics and the fiber, they are okay. Yeah. The transfer is stable. Yeah, if you move it, nothing occurs. Oh, but not the signal still moves. Yeah, yeah, but because Enrique, you, you were here when he. I was here. We're breaking our heads. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You do that with him. No, but um, I'm talking about the orange fiber. Yeah. Uh, so the hypothesis was that when you move this fiber, actually you change the distance somewhere, and you create a resonance. 
that it propagates into the electronics, but it's an optical. It's an optical thing, you think so? Yes. So it's not the electronics. Victory! <laughs> no, no, you, you hit the electronic box. The no, okay, but it's not a mechanical coupling to noise in the electronics, but it's yeah, I was artifacts. Yeah, I was wondering if it's uh, electronics or... So okay, if we get rid of the laser, I think you, you don't have this but, uh, noise anymore. We were working on the... If you get rid of the laser, you will have no noise. No, no, no. You put in the laser. Hey, but I'm not proposed to get rid of the laser. We will have no more noise. Put the camera. Hold the magic. But with an LED, you won't have this problem. This is a... The Fabi Pro? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a... Can Fabi Pro happen with the LED? No, not really. Physics? I mean, it's uh, it's very short. Uh, yeah. Can it? It's very Why? Why only at very very small distances. Yeah. Why? Uh, because there is some co coherence. Even white light has some coherence, but it's very very it's small. But uh, huh? it's, like yeah, yeah, I mean, it's very short. short. That's what I want to do. Yeah. But you can do interference with white light. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, you know, to be on the road, we can't. Uh, like put yeah, everything yeah, nicely, yeah, yeah. then with the scotch tape to the wall, yeah. and they say, don't go near. Like, no, but in what I'm hoping is when we open the Pelican case, the transistor is like the ST fiber is in the wall of one of the arms. And it's aluminum and it doesn't move. So the fiber is encased in aluminum and it can't be touched. The ST can't be blowing you. Oh, well, if we get at this magic angle, we may get rid of it. But if we have this LED instead of laser, it's okay, I think. We I have think to we test use it, we order LEDs. Like, uh, yeah, we should buy a tester, that's for sure. But the problem is the coupling, you know, that's the problem with the LEDs. Couple them into the fiber. That's what we're involved in, the green lights, right? Yeah. Because I tried here to couple in, the, in this into that fiber and I didn't get much to it. You didn't try enough. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know why. Because I didn't have the gains. Uh -huh. Aha. Yeah. Remember? Yes. Well, I have the gains, yeah. Good. Next. Because there are no gains on this one? No, there are gains, yeah. Oh, no. Okay. Do -do 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 merge. Because I could see the light with my own eyes, but it didn't pick it up. Ah, oh, yeah, okay. Uh, you know we're going to adjust? Battery? Battery power, yeah. So this is something... <laughs> just uh, terrorism. <laughs> you good? Yeah. Battery? We're going to order more batteries soon. Yeah, but this is this come in second. This is the first. That first, you work on this. They're both being soldered today. Sounds ah, okay. Yeah. Okay, so the piezo circuit three axis was made. I have this. So what's the deal with them? With the this goes to the we're mailing the piezo tomorrow. Ah, so they, they uh, you send it to the guys. Yeah, yes. they're gonna characterize ah, okay. it. So there is progress. Nice. It's, I mean, it's really nice when you, when. You know, you're, you're lost. They lost, and, and, and then you see that things are making progress without you watching it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> huh? oh, so yes. I soldered the, the leads on to the piezo. Yes. Fucking nightmare. Yeah? Never again have to solder in the one. Oh, yeah, the. Uh, Next time we order them with the leads on. <laughs> okay. Actually, that's also something to order. I, I started looking a little bit in China. Can you put to do as the order piezos? Uh, I have it on my list. Do we want to order from Boston Case Optics or do we want to order? Because oh. PC Constraint makes them too. Let's go to the bank also to have your uh, loan. What? So. Nice! Nice! Put them back. Yeah. You think so? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we planted uh, some. I already planted some seeds in there too. Yeah. I don't know if there's any progress. I planted cappies. <laughs> so, uh, next steps characterize. Yeah, we need to buy piezos. Uh, do we want to look for alternative suppliers? I saw a company making uh, all sorts of nice piezos. Um, piezos are sintered PTZ, PZT ceramic. Yes. So it's a ceramic? Sintered. So it's a powder that's heated oh, okay. and laser, fused with lasers or electron beams. So if we can find a way of making them, 
Feeling good? Yes, yes. Make it, no, make your own kisses. Or oh, buy uh, powder, fuse it. Or maybe we can glue it. Or buy this custom kisses. Yeah, characterize it yourself. So that's one of my ideas. The way I, I form the 10 hour request, the modification, is give us a methodology to characterize the piezos mm -hmm. and what equipment to buy. So buy equipment, buy like boxes of plastic piezo optics cylinders, package them in one of Dan's nice packaging, give a data sheet with it, mm -hmm. and maybe the driver optionally, but sell, resell. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, we accept the with driver. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure, I know. Well, in my... Piso is a seller, right? Everybody is... Okay. Oh, yeah, it seems difficult to... Put it together, huh? Have it. <coughs> yeah, put it together to... Oh, yeah, oh. To drive. Uh, engage. The new engage with uh, Laval. Yes, yes, Laval. Did you see the video? Are you for or against this? Oh, yeah. Before, yeah. Okay, good. Uh, you saw my ideas up here? We discussed it previously, my interference-based... Uh, yeah, yeah. Like yes. When you bend it, you have differential interference. You, look, you, you hear the video also? Or just the images? Uh, some of it may have. At the same time, it says that uh -huh. the problem having cores too to tight is cross-talk and... Yeah. So if he has a core that, that has no crosstalk when it's straight, mm -hmm. and then when it gets bent slightly, it has crosstalk, it's yeah. ideal. Mm -hmm. That's what mm -hmm. we want. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I can contact them right away. Because yeah? Louis had uh, known someone who knows them. And... Oh, I didn't know that we have... Uh, okay, nice. We have personal connections. Nice, nice, nice. It's Laval. It's not University Laval, it's not far. Yeah. Uh, it's okay. in Laval? I thought it was in Quebec City. Quebec City, yeah. University yeah. Laval. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Just like my dad taught you. <clears throat> yeah, let's go for it, guys. So it's, uh, it's really good. Kevin, any other engagements to do? I want to do an engage grant for the fabrication device to make Fabric Pro uh, transistors. That's why I was at, that's why I was interrogating Mohammed yesterday. But this would be okay. web one transistor. Because then after you can switch to OMEMS. You want an exploration of that with uh, well I know I know I know a guy. I know a guy, I know him good. And but, he does he does But he said his limit is about five micrometers. No, no, I know a guy that uh, is a physics uh, professor uh, and he uses uh, you know the guy with the little thing like that sphere that I talked to at the ISS uh, McGill. Yes. Yeah. They yeah. have his ring. Yeah. That's the guy. I know him very well. He does micro. What is this? What is well, he? Do? Does he does etching glass on substrates and uh, he can do mirrors and. What else? On okay. Yeah. That's for your. Photonics on a chip. He does that. Yeah. What well, what I'm talking about like is okay. etching a board that will have guides to hold our fibers at precisely 15, 50 times two. Yes, yes. I mean, I mean that that guy he can he can do even more. That's what I'm trying to say because he imagine a silicon substrate with with a wall of glass, right? That's a separator. Or imagine you know he can, but but he can integrate optics. I, I think it's I think it's what I did. I never thought of doing an engage with this guy. Like a free space optics chip, like you were talking about earlier. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. That guy can do it. That's the guy that can do it. There. He does it all the time. This year. He puts glass on silicon wafers and then he etches the glass to do. Uh, well, you know, to do uh, lenses and gradings and whatever you want. Great, right? excellent. What's his name? We can check some papers, publications. We know this guy personally. Uh, his name is uh, uh, Andrew uh, Kirk. Uh, Kirk. Oh, yeah, it's a micro publication at Megil. Yeah, yeah, true. Can we use this to to couple? We met this guy when he organized the ISS create uh, ISI. Yeah. ISS create. Can we use this guy to make an interface between the University of Laval and Quebec uh, multi-core fibers and something else? An array of these, a laser, at the same time? Yeah, can we do a double engage grant with two companies? Engage grant with one side, engage grant with the other, and kind of... So his, oh, his, yeah? his, micro, his yeah. devices, uh, I remember him giving one talk about interfacing uh, his... Uh, yeah. 
photonics on a chip yeah, with, so uh, you know, the interface with the world, you know, and, and one of the things was coupling it with fibers. Good. Okay, so he's thinking about this problem. How do you, you have a chip, right? And so how do you couple it to the world? You know, so you need some optical fiber, right? To stick it in, right? Yeah, yeah. Can we do so, a party with So them? they are thinking... Uh, Paris needs a uh, market. Yeah, but we can engage him with, just for an engage and then we can... Uh, Go from there. Yeah. Uh, it's better to start with the engage. This guy yeah. uh, could have a lot of ideas. But I'm wondering for what to have these two ideas develop and then symmetry. We'll make a party for the symmetry between the two. What's his name? Miguel, right there. For example, what this guy can do, can take a multiple fiber, you're sticking in his chip, and you have the interference right there. You can do, uh, this I can do a uh, grading, so you can split multicolor into yeah. different. Uh, multicolor, yeah. You can do everything you want. Nano photonics. Huh? Nano photonics. That's what I want to hear. Propagation of light in. Yeah, go to his website. You see, external website, and see the pictures. Uh, yeah. I've been on his website. So that's why. Uh, Andrew Kirk does. Uh, does the guy say if you go? Yeah, that's the. Like I can stop the meeting. Yeah. <coughs> no, it's, it's here. Goodbye.